It's time to keep track. Here are the final stats. It's Nigel, you wanna hit us with the curse tracker? Yeah, so this one's kind of on the lower end of things. Um, I think mainly just because, yeah, I think mainly just because Nick Cage is just playing a guy. Like he's not—he's really, a straight he's man. He's not an eccentric thing, character. He's just like, mm-hmm. he could have had anybody play in this character. Mm-hmm. Uh, and even with him playing it, he just he's just reading lines half the time. It seems like he's not really. Anyway, um, you know who would have been so, a good choice? John Cusack. He would have. He would have <laughs> been a good choice. For <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we had seven uses of shit. One asshole, which was the asshole cop that uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> caught weed in his car, or planted drugs in his car, whatever mm-hmm. it was. Uh, two uses of God in a curse uh, uh, context. And 15 fucks. So he's a um, lot of fucks. That's yeah, the go-to, That's man. the most. There's definitely the most. So out of the... <laughs> So that, that's a total of 25 total curses in this movie. Grand total is now 224. Of those 224, 121 of those are fuck. So <laughs> nice. over half of his curses are fucks. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah. Again, it's like 20, 25 total. That puts it... Uh, 224, right? 224 total, 25 for this movie. That puts it above Grand Isle, which had 20, um, and Wicker Man at 14. But other than that, every other movie has had more swearing, except for Bringing Out the Dead, which has had the two fucks in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, rather on, subdued. On the uh, nudity side of things, um, I had a hard time with this because yeah, every I time figured. you see a stripper, they're wearing pasties. So I didn't count <laughs> it. So every every piece of nudity that I'm about to say was all except for one of them in that one shot of her laptop with all of the nudity on it that, that <laughs> Willem Dafoe was looking at. Every other shot yeah. is uh, pasty. Like, I, I yeah. looked at all of the different strippers in the background being like, oh, there's got to be one where they've got, <laughs> they don't have pasties. But I'm wondering if maybe that's like Ohio law. Like, they can't show full, you Could know, be. breasts or they, they can't show full nudity. Just, I know a lot of states don't have bottom. They didn't want to pay the actresses you know. more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. Let's see, Ohio stripper laws. I'll look it up while you keep talking. Okay. <laughs> so we had ten breasts, one female ass, which was actually the ass of the the woman in the DA's house, um, which I, oh, yeah, I that's waffled right. on which I, whether I should count it, but I could see the second cheek, so I was like, ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll count side that. boob and a cheek. Our mm-hmm. first vagina in the entire film, um, <laughs> or in the entire uh, run so far, and it was on the laptop. And the only reason mm-hmm. I counted is because you could see everything, but it didn't show, you know, this stuff. It didn't show that <laughs> stuff. But it was full frontal, so I count it. Um, so that is a grand total so far of 19 breasts, two female asses, two male asses, one vagina, and one Nicolas Cage boner tent. <laughs> From Vampire's <laughs> Kiss. I love it. Jumping over to the uh, state slash country tracker, we're still 100% in the United States. Um, this entire film is, is set in Ohio and filmed in Ohio, surprisingly. Um, so that brings us up to seven total states uh, between or after California, New York, Washington, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Illinois, and Ohio. Um, for our budget and gross uh, tracker. This movie was a $2 million budget, um, a $219,000. So now grand total, we have $119 million that has been given to Nick Cage films and a gross return of $77 million. Oh, damn. <laughs> um, some of our films that are coming up, some of the uh, more blockbustery movies, are, I think are really gonna skew this, because I was looking at like Gone in 60 Seconds and mm-hmm. Ghost Rider and National Treasure, those movies are really going to uh, skew this. So make a bunch of shitty movies, make one money maker and you're all good. You're all good. Um, over on the rating side of things, we uh, we added another unrated movie. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, this movie was not rated. Um, so that brings us up to four R-rated rate, movies, one PG-13, and three unrated. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, Vince, do you want to hit us with the uh, kill tracker? <laughs> this movie brings us uh, to eight kills. So we're finally back up for eight for eight. And then... Uh, 
So he, he only the one killed kill. one, just the yeah. mom, and that was it? Yeah, he only killed the wife. Oh, wow. Mom, baby mama. Yeah, I, I, I had a, I was racking my brain, went back and watched all the action, like, like the violent scenes. Yeah, she's the only person that he ended up killing. Everybody <laughs> else was either killed by Mad Dog or Diesel. So yeah, that brings up, up to eight for eight. Uh, and then Death Tracker, um, we broke our streak of uh, no deaths. <laughs> so now, out of the eight films we've watched, uh, six of them have included his uh, unfortunate demise. So yeah. we're six, six for eight now. You know, my brother suggested doing a resurrection tracker of some sort, which uh, hmm. we we're already, we've done two films where he has been resurrected um, with Color Out of Space. He just comes back to life as whatever the creature is that is in, mm -hmm. inhabiting the uh, farm. And then, um, and then this one where he, he's dragged to death by the car and then he comes back to life <laughs> yeah. in, in this fantasy that he says. I don't, I don't know if you guys want to add that or not, but I know that it's going to come sure. up again and yeah. like yeah, we Ghost Rider and a couple other films. So yeah, actually that, that's a good point. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do uh, yeah. I'll, I'll cover that too. I'll keep track of the resurrection. Okay. Let's say if they do face off too. <laughs> Doesn't he die in face off? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm very interested to see how, uh, spoiler alert, how they, uh, how they explained that. Yeah, who the fuck Well, knows, we took man. his face off his put dead body. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we took on, on, That's, that's, that's why they're going to do it. Superman's face. Yeah. <laughs> Henry Cavill will most likely, him or Pedro, what is his name, Pedro Pascal? Yeah, those are the go-tos right now. Do I don't know, I'm just <laughs> saying, like, they oh. seem to be getting cast in everything. Yeah. <laughs> do you see that Cavill just got cast in the Highlander reboot? <laughs> I did. No. I saw that. Yeah, that's how. I, yeah, I'm saying, dude, these two dudes are getting cast in everything. <laughs>